to go back to Olala Day, if you don't mind. Um, I know Owando has significant experience in gas, um, upstream and midstream. And um, from your perspective, right, the PIE has been passed, right? NMPC has evolved. We now have the new NMPC Limited. We now have a um, decade of gas, um, the gas master plan. With all of these in Nigeria, what additional opportunities do you think there are to ensure that we effectively and optimally utilize gas and um, the barriers for exploitation of gas is also removed? All right, thank you. I like to say Orlando is more of a gas player than an oil player, so it's an apt question. Um, I think with the PIA, as you mentioned, there's a lot of regulation around gas. There's a lot of regulation that promotes the development of gas. And we have to ensure that these policies and the regulation that's being put forward is implemented properly. Whether we like it or not, we have a lot of gas. Nigeria has over 200 trillion scoff of gas undeveloped, and we have to monetize and commercialize that gas. How do we go about it? There is a lot of stranded gas without the infrastructure. So we know that the infrastructure for gas is capital intensive. We've talked about um, funding a lot and you know, fund traditional methods of funding drying up and whatnot. What needs to happen now is a lot of exploration and production companies oil and gas beer need to start to push investments into developing that infrastructure. How do we get the gas to the domestic market? Developing the domestic market. It's not just about exporting the gas, but using the gas to develop the domestic markets because we do have those needs. Speaking especially on the power side, how do we get gas to power? How do we power up the country and ensure that our energy um, so we're energy sufficient as a country. We need to push investments into that infrastructure and unlock the value that we have. The other thing is the policies and the pricing. You know, as much as we're moving gas into the markets, you want a willing and an able buyer. You also want these projects to be bankable and accountable to the investors. You can't do this if you don't have the right pricing. So it is important that over the next few years, we focus on how we price gas, especially domestic gas. How do we price domestic gas? What does the government do in terms of regulations, in terms of incentives, in terms of subsidizing that industry to ensure we're able to develop it to the full capacity? Gas is the transition fuel. We have a lot of uh, transition um, element for, for, for this new um, um, pathway into renewables. So we need to ensure that we're able to tap these resources, we need to tap it efficiently, and we need to ensure that we get the returns in the investment we're going to put into these developments over the next few um, years, I must say. The final thing I would just say about gas is the government plays a huge role, right? Um, one of the things that we have is a lot of captive power plants, and most of these customers are actually government agencies. So in that area of production, how does the government start to get interested and start to invest in gas opportunities so that they're able to power up their own governments, their own communities, and in turn, you know, the, we are able to produce a country that is able to utilize its gas and invest in its gas and in return benefit from it. So it's really an, an inside job, I would say. We have to focus our efforts on it so that we can benefit from the results of these investments. Thank you. Oh, thank you very, very much.